All right, what do we got? It's Zillow time, and you already know the deal. You already know the fucking vibes. Wow, this is a small photo. But inside. For $425,000, this one bed, one bath, 1050 square foot home could be yours. We bought this rug right out of rugs.com. I know because I was shopping on rugs.com last night and I saw this rug. Black and red. Yes. There's literally a stripper pole in here. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. You rented this house to have, you, this is, this is, this is the home? This is in Joshua Tree. This is a swingers home. This, unironically, we make jokes about homes that are made for sex. I promise you this home is actually made for sex. This is a swingers home. There's a fucking shit. There's a BDSM rack in the living room. They got lava lamps. Don't trust anybody who has lava lamps. Is that alligator leather walls in the bathroom? Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, this one looks to me like the room that you would spend some time in if you were into that and you had people to have sex with. Was this a church at one point? Welcome to the Church of Forbidden Love. All right. Oh, no. So this is uh, $1.6 million. It's four bed, five bath, 14,939 square feet. It's obviously a converted building um, that was... It like, it, and if it's not, then somebody needs to be fucking ashamed. I can't tell if it was previously a giant home that was uh, added on to. It has to have been a home that was added on to. I don't know yet. It's gotta be an old warehouse. Like Office Depot switched out of here. No, but it's on the residential side. It's zoned for residential. What is that? Oh man, oh shit's in shambles. Oh, I've seen this place. I've fucking seen this place. Cheney showed me this shit. One lady who was wheelchair bound lived in this home. This, she built it, all right? This home was built by her to her specifications. Ready? Closet. The closet. Now you're like, that's a lot of closet space. How could that possibly be used? Well, apparently she was very eccentric and, and that's not all. There's more closets, uh, more storage. Um, keeps a lot of antique furniture and stuff, obviously. Here's another bathroom. Here's her kitchen. Carpeted, double fridge, very big. Some would argue too big. This kitchen is in fact far too large. Look at the distance between here and here. There can't possibly be more fucking closets, can you? This is her chair room. This is her closet space. These are all closets. Um, you can see these are storage area, storage area. This is the living room. Here's the kitchen. Like each one of, like what, like, like look, each one of these is a closet. Yeah, this looks cozy. 550,000 square feet. Th I mean, Jesus, $550,000, 3,000 square feet. But you all know that there's gotta be something wrong with it or not. That's kind of cool. I mean, I don't love it, but it's kind of interesting. Tell me that's part of the property. Oh, word? Underground bunker? Hello? You know, like, well done. Here's your little courtyard. I mean, the kitchen's small, but whatever. I mean, I mean, yeah. Attic, I like, I wouldn't, I don't love it, but hey. But then it's, huh, it's just, it's just a sliding glass door into the mountain. Was this somebody's like passion project? What is this? He's making a tunnel. Do you think he's tunneling to that? He's tunneling to the tower. One of the most enticing features are the attached caves. These are not natural caves. This doesn't help me discern why or what is happening here. <laughs> Surely you can't be serious. This is showing how far the land has receded in three years. Bro, you've got one and a half years left before your house is actually off of that mountain then. You can't live here. This shit is gone. Also, where is your erosion stopping efforts? Like y'all need some fucking rocks down there. Look at this shit. Oh my God. Also very narrow home. Unique offering, three bedroom, three bath ranch home with walkout lower level. I think Victorian houses and, and I guess the general style plus loud houses in general need to make a comeback. This is cute. <laughs> oh man, Never mind. Put it back. Oh, so you gotta give it a little bit of leeway. Not too much leeway, because this is something else, but you gotta give it a little bit of leeway. They really like pastel, yeah. Very nice. Yep. 
You're gonna need to redo a lot of the paint. Oh, that's an awful color. I like the cutouts. Hey, the, the circle cutouts, fire, in my opinion. All right, this is not, oh, what? Wait, what? You walk up the stairs and you just lock eye contact with the dude shitting right here? And if the guy shitting stands up too fast, he puts his head through the roof? Yeah, I, it's weird that the best looking room, the nicest room also is just this open concept. Open concept bathroom. First of its kind. They, I mean, you really don't make open concept bathrooms like they used to. So this place already looks like it slaps. Look at this. The light underneath the um, walkway, pretty pog. I mean, it's in the middle of the desert. It's hot as balls. You got a party living area. Whoa! I hate the floor and the backsplash, but I love the lighting. And I see what you're doing here. But it's very, like this I fucking like. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Little details like this. The rounded glass um, with the sepia tint. Oh man. You ever, I've never seen something and said, this looks like what mothballs smell like. It's just like my grandfather's house. Oh man, this is really drab too. I mean, it's nice, but it's like 1980s drabby nice. I can't get over this kitchen. This, oh, with the YMCA glass boxes. Are you kidding? This is, this home is made for, for, for vaporwave. Ew. What are you doing? Ew. Why is it just like bulbous and rounded marble? I hate it. Oh my God. <laughs> this just seems like a lot of marble for a pretty small tub, right? Like it, it seems like this takes up three, you should have twice the size of a tub. This, this would be fire. If you had this as your hot tub stream, I would watch. This whole home is 19, like the 1950s diners. And it's, it's, it's actually like, <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. It would be cool to visit. Oh, I take it. Everything back. This is incredible. I would love to stay here for an Airbnb. I would never want to live here, but I would fucking love to hang out here for one night and one night only. It's also great because you have, um, very rare, but as you see here, you are actually on some of the only water in the entire desert. This is just going to be a normal rich person house. It's 15,000 square feet. You know you're rich when your pool when your pool has 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 pillars, right? Like no poverty shit. We have pillars in our pool. We have a swim up grotto. It's nice actually. It's not even like look, this is this shit isn't even like this is just like where you keep your plates, but nah. Open up the drawer and we got water bottles on deck. What? Why is this room, I mean, I don't agree with a lot of, like, the exposed beams and lights are cool. I don't know about the corrugated metal, but, like, why why, why, why is this room so, what the, f oh, no. Don't you dare. Hey! Oh, this is the first Harry Potter. Let's go. Love Hogwarts Express. Love Harry Potter. Look at them. Oh, man. Hats and cloaks. Yep. Fucking pool rules. Laugh out loud. Splish, splash. Play joyfully. Go barefoot. Relax thoroughly. Enjoy the moment. Oh, I've got to have it, Harold. You're going to buy a $25 piece of wood with that on it? Yeah. And I'm going to... Oh, full basketball court with a kitchen bar. A, a, a peg wall. Kind of weird. There's no divider between the court and stuff. Here's your workout room with... I'll call it graffiti. Oh! Like a real rock climbing wall. And you know they're serious because they've got like the full on like squash glass. This is a hot tub pool right here. That's a hot tub streamer pool right here. Right here. Oh man. 